I still a lot of people remember me from the from the World Cup where I'm in England. I think everybody really re- remembers me from playing for for Blackburn and winning the league. Um, but when I'm back in, in in Scotland, it's the World Cup or Rangers sort of thing with the treble. Um, of course, Euro ninety <laughs> Euro ninety six gets a mention wherever wherever I'm at for obvious reasons. But um, I probably saved Gaza that day. But here you go, saved his career, I should say. I, did, I seen Gaza a few years later. It was early, early two thousand. Um, we were playing a game up at Newcastle, or I was playing a game, a charity game called the Match. It was on Sky One, mm-hmm. so it was ex players against a load of different actors and stuff. It was a sort of a sellout. It was about forty thousand on at the game, mm-hmm. and we won. I think we won one nil or two two nil. I can't recall, but Gaza was there, and my late wife Denise had been ill and made a recovery at that point, and um, he, he, you know, he. Gaza being Gaza and readily gets easily upset. You know, he, he was sat with us at dinner and had a good, obviously had a few drinks, a lot of, well, a lot of drinks. And um, then he got a wee bit emotional with Denise sort of thing. And it was it was touching, it was nice. But no, I've, I've come across him a few times, but I've not, not, not recently. Um, um, and he probably wouldn't have managed that goal now anyway, if he comes down to Lytham on a Sunday. He, you know, he, he'd probably get... <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't be messing about with him. No, I mean, he's, no. he's, I get it. He's not going to apologise for it. Why would you? But no, at the same no, time, absolutely. At the same time, he he'll have known how much that hurt for all guys. Yeah, yeah, it did hurt. I mean, as I, as I said, it's there's only two games, and that was one of the games that I've seen grown men cry after a game, and throughout the game itself, I think you know, I've, and Gar- I don't think Gary's. I mean, people have a go at me about the goal. People, you know, if, if, depending on the situation, the circumstances, socially, out late at night, I, I do a function, people's in a drink, oh, Gaza, did you, it's your fault. I still get that. Gary took a bit of criticism as well as for the penalty, you know, and it's, mm-hmm. so I share that sort of understanding of, mm-hmm. it was, it's been difficult and it is difficult. You know, still to this day, people, uh, my generation, our generation, they all, they all remember it, you know. But uh, I mean, the one thing I say to people is that <clears throat> as far as the goal, etc., it's taken England's greatest ever footballer to do that to me. Mm-hmm. So then I throw that discussion back to the people that's talking about it and they go, I say, well, give me a better English footballer that technically gifted. You're looking at Bobby Charlton, you're looking at um, I don't know. I don't there's know. Many, I, I, well, I'm, um, I don't know. There's not. There's yeah. not. There's there's not many Glen Hoddle, you know. So right. there's not to do to do that. And but yeah. you know that stereotypical Paul Gascoigne. He had that ability. And you know when you look at all the different forums and stuff about choosing and voting for, you know, he's right up there. Those guys are. 